this is Lori Whitlock, and I'm going to show you how to assemble the stationary box that's located at the Silhouette Online Store and at LoriWhitlock.com in SVG format. Um, this file comes um, in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pieces, and um, you'll notice the edge of the stationary box features this really cute, ornate, um, decorative edge. Uh, the box measures uh, five by six by one inch and three quarters deep. So it'll hold a nice set of cards if that's what you're looking um, to get a set of cards. I'm going to push this down so that you can watch me assemble this. Basically, um, the base of the box comes in two separate pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and fold on the perforated lines so that things are kind of going the right direction. Um, folding all of the glue tabs towards the inside of the box to form a nice square corner on the side. Same thing that you're going to do on the front of the box here. Folding that down, the sides in, and the glue flap in. Both of them along with the bottom of the box. Folding it up, and this decorative edge comes down. You can kind of see how the box is starting to kind of come together. But we need to attach this piece to the back piece. So you'll need to attach this together at the side glue flap. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of glue to the edge of this flap. Okay. Then I'm going to um, stack those on top of each other, just like this. And that will create a nice corner. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and fold the whole thing in half and do the same thing on this side of the box. Um, Uh-oh, that just came loose on me. I think I'm going to put a little more glue in there. The paper I cut this out of is pretty heavy, so it is kind of porous, so it's just going to probably be... A little bit more temperamental with the gluing, just depending on what you cut your box out of. Okay, so I'm going to hold that down, and at the same time, I'm going to try and get this side drying. I really need to go get a new bottle of glue so I don't have to wait for it to come down the bottom all the time. Okay, now we're going to get that drying. Let me check on this other side over here. No, it's not looking like it's really well sealed here. Tuck a little more glue in there. Okay, so you can see we've got the whole box folded in half and just those seams are being glued. Um, and when that's done, you're going to have this nice little box that'll stand up. And we need to get the bottom put together, which means you just need to fold those glue tabs in and fold the bottom of the box up. And we need to get that glued as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue around all the edges of the large flap. I need that out of my way. Okay. Okay, that's in place and I'm just going to stand the box up and let that dry a little bit. Sorry, this computer is... I'm going to try and get set up with a little bit better video capabilities, so hopefully my videos will improve over the next few months. I'm going to put my hand down in there and push on those seams a little bit to get everything stuck down really well. Okay. Now you can see that your box is formed and there's this pretty little flap that folds down. And I have included in the file a second piece that you can layer behind the little flap. And you could certainly cut that out of contrasting paper, but that will give you something to um, apply some Velcro to on the back side so that you can close your box. I've also included in the file, if you would like to um, Put some ribbon down on the sides on the inside of the box. You could apply a little piece of ribbon to each side 
and the side of the box, and then use one of these little rectangles I provided to cover the ribbon down inside of the box so that when you look inside the box it's still nice and clean even though there's ribbon attached. So I will let you play with those options but those two pieces slip down on the side to cover ribbon and this little piece can um, go behind the pretty decorative edge to give you something to apply Velcro to and just give you another look on that cover. So, I hope you enjoy this little stationery box. I think it's really cute and it'll make a great gift uh, filled with cute homemade cards for birthdays and friends and, and mothers and things like that. So, anyways, have a great day. Hope you enjoy this stationery box.